I came back and I worked at the next, the new Robber Hive Library, which we can talk about. But when I was doing this, I was unqualified, you know, so. Can you describe the typical day? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, when, in that one, when I worked in that library, which was the old library, and that library, by the way, was located, you know, by Orbin's funeral parlour? Do you know that by the roundabout? Uh, uh, yeah. And you know, you know, there's that strange-looking building that's on the corner. There's Orbin's uh, funeral business, and then there's a sort of strange-looking building, which I think is the ventilating shaft for the underground. Well, that library used to be roughly there, that old library, and a typical day there would be you'd go in in the morning. And just because I was a junior type person, my first job in the day was to sort all the books out and make sure they were all tidy. Um, and then the library would open up. And you had to get things tidy before the public came in. Um, and then when the public came in, my job would be to be standing, I'd be behind the desk. And uh, so you would come in with your books and I would have to you know, take the books back, or when you took them out, again, you don't have it these days, but they used to have this big stamp, which you'd stamp the date in the book. Uh, I mean, today it's all done by computers, you don't see anything, do you? They just, I don't know, it's a flat like going in the supermarket. But back then you had these um, <coughs> big stamps. Everything was old fashioned. Everything, and, and that building smelled of, um, it had old, stuff called lino which used to be on the floors you know you're used to probably to carpets yeah. or wooden flooring or stone flooring back in those days they used to have this special type of flooring called linoleum or lino and it had a sort of smell to it uh, and so the building had an old-fashioned smell everything but it was dark the lighting was uh, dark and as you can see from the pictures the there wasn't much natural lighting um, mm. in, in the winter it was cold and so they used to have a stove in the corner like um, paraffin do you know anything about paraffin it's, it's like a type of fuel <laughs> yeah. God, I'm so feeling so old yet. but um, again you're probably used aren't you to radiators in your homes or underfloor heating or or you might have a fire but in the library, it was um, they used to have these paraffin heaters, which so they'd fill up the heater with paraffin and they'd light the thing, and it'd be bubbling away in the corner. And if the library opened, if you went into the library at nine o'clock in the morning, and say you finished at eight o'clock in the evening, and it was a winter, yeah. by eight o'clock in the evening, you, you, you're desperate to get out of that place because the fumes uh, and the smell of the library was terrible. So that would be like your typical day. That's what I do most of the day. But later on, I went and worked at, um, when I qualified as a librarian, the council would open this brand new library, um, and this was in 1975. And I went and worked there uh, in about 1976. I was there from 1976 to 1978. And my job was to actually work with children. Um, and in that new library, so I had a completely different job. Uh, I'd moved up the scale, you know, I was a professional person and my job was to work with children. And in the new library, um, they didn't have many children come into the library to start with. And so what I did was I contacted all the local schools like Albion School, um, Salter, and there's St Joseph's and what have you. And I arranged for all the children to come over with the teachers. So what I would do every day, I used to, is most of my working day, I would have classes full of school children would come to the library to pay a visit and they would take the books. But one of the things I would always do is I would always tell them stories um, because they had a special... Uh, they had a special children's library. You remember me saying in the old library they had no facilities for children. Yeah. But in the new one, they had a 
special children's library and they had a pit in which the children could sit and you could tell stories. And believe it or not, that is actually me in that picture. Um, you know, that's, I know, go on, have a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about 1970, I suppose that would be about 1976, 77. So what are we talking? Yeah, a long, long time ago now, 35 years ago. But what the children would do, they, I would, you know, read them a story. Yeah. And so that was mainly what I did. Um, and that was great fun because there's nothing nicer than having stories, is there? Really good. So, like, was your job like physical in any way? Yeah, funny enough, I mean, if you work in a library, I think most people who don't work in a library actually think that working in a library is really easy because they come in and they change their books and they probably think that um, it's that's quite a nice job, you know, you just stand behind that desk all day, stamping books, or you sit at the desk, or you tell stories to children. Yeah. But actually, a lot of the time, you're on your feet. Um, now I'm not trying to pretend that being a librarian was as hard as being a docker or, <laughs> or whatever, but uh, there was a lot, it was a lot more physical than you think, because you're standing on your feet a lot of the time. Um, you're also, you're carrying books, because when the children bring the books back, you can imagine if you got, say, in those days, the classes used to be about 35, 40 children in every class, and they would all bring their books back. And once they've brought those books back, those books have to go back onto the shelves so the next lot of children can get them. So you're picking up the books and whatever. Um, but it, I mean, it's not physically, wasn't it? So it's, it and you work long days, you would work some days you would work say nine till eight, nine in the morning till eight in the evening. Yeah. But then other days you'd only work nine till one. Or sometimes you'd get a whole day off in the week. So it physically wasn't physically tough in the way that you're lifting sort of heavy stuff or working on machines. But what it was physically tough as well is that you have to um, be good with the public all the time because if the public come in the library they want you to they don't want you to come in and find someone who's moaning and miserable and unhappy or whatever you have to keep you know you have to keep friendly and sometimes by the end of the day that was always hard you know by the time you got to eight o'clock yeah. you just think I want to go home now <laughs> yeah. um, how much did you get paid oh yeah that's a good question um, <laughs> My first job when I worked in, I told you I worked in Bermondsey Library, and the first time that I worked in the old Rotherham Library, that one with all the linoleum on the floor, I was paid £12 a week. That was my, that's how much I got paid, £12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I used to have to give me mum um, £4 a week. Because I lived at home, you know, you know, I was still young, so I was living at home. Mm. So I would give her four pound a week, and that would mean because she was very generous, my mum. Uh, she never took much money off us, um, and so I had eight pound a week that I could spend on myself. Now you have to realise that doesn't sound very much money, does it? Mm. Twelve pound or eight pound? I mean, that's you know, can't even buy a what do you think it's about buy a CD for that now, can't you? Or mm. a DVD. But back then, that wasn't bad money. You know, that really wasn't, that wasn't, it was starting out money. That wasn't bad, believe it or not, 12 pound. I mean, my wife who left, she worked in another job. She was a florist. She used to get something like uh, six pound a week when she started and she was the same age as me. Mm. So yeah, and then, with the eight pound left over, we used to. You could buy all. Yeah, you could buy lots of things with that eight pound. I remember I bought the Beatles records and things like that. <laughs> and records used to cost. Well, records. You don't know what records are, do you? Because, but uh, those old old things called records. They used to be. If you bought a small record, it would cost you. I think it was something like the equivalent today of about sixty pence or. 
between 40 and 60 pence. And if you bought a big album, uh, a long, a big, big record with lots of music on, that used to cost you uh, what would be the equivalent of about one pound fifty. So if you had eight pounds to spend on yourself, you know, if you like records, you could buy them.